Thanksgiving, we're in Pismo, and I'm apparently in charge of making coffee, and I just checked out the scene. There is an electric percolator from like 1805, 1923, 1492 in there, and we're gonna see what happens. It's got instructions. Cups of brewed coffee to measuring cups of ground coffee. Trying to get this bed as level as I can, but it's not super level. Okay, I started the coffee in the percolator. Everybody in Jenny's family is looking at me so weird because like, what is this guy doing with his camera? And he's talking to himself about coffee and like, what is going on? So I just made myself look like the weirdest in-law ever, which is awesome. And the coffee's going. Like, I have zero expectation for it, but I'm real excited. This has got to be the worst way to make coffee on the earth. The light came on, that means it's done. It's not what I'd call good, but it's definitely not the worst thing I've ever had. All right, we're in slow, it's Black Friday. Last night was super mellow. We're gonna kick the day off by going to Kreuzberg, which is a coffee shop on the main drag. It's got this huge building. They've got two levels, mezzanine upstairs, downstairs. They roast their own coffee, but the real secret to life is the breakfast burrito, which has tater tots inside. You just can't go wrong with tater tots, man. I don't think I've ever seen you without a beard. <laughs> That's amazing. I know. What's up? Sauce lineup. It's a treat yourself day. I really like Kreuzberg. It's got kind of this like mid 90s bohemian kind of funky feel, which is different, but I think they pull it off really well. Kreuzberg, I'm pretty sure, is a neighborhood in Berlin where the owner stayed for a while, and the shop is like his interpretation of that. They also have a milk tap, it's like boom, milk on tap. I think milk tap's really cool. I secretly want a milk tap. Maybe one day I'm gonna have a milk tap. Gotta go to the warehouse when you're in town. All style questions go through Dan. <laughs> Need to know anything, you ask Dan. Got it dialed at the warehouse. Picked up a sticker for Jer, cause that's his life right there. Welcome to this week's vlog podcast with Chris Baca. <laughs> Dude, the showroom is hot. Look at this. Wow. This is super cool. Do you read appendage and bow in slow. This is Mikey and Janine's showroom. Oh. Even Mikey's gonna get espresso. Mikey usually drinks like 86 ounces of iced coffee. Yep. Also, Mikey built our countertop, the Cat Cloud. So if you see that hexagon tile, it's Mikey. Score like a little Breville. Norm. We got a Technivorm with coffee in it. Beans in there. Yeah. And then boom. boom. We modified it to put a whole new fan on it and a frequency drive so we could control the airspeed. Electronically controlled valve in there. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so we stopped by Bayamundo to get some coffee and then went to check out a warehouse that our friend might get. And right next door to that warehouse was the Bayamundo Roastery and Jonathan was there just working on cabinetry. This guy mods out his roasters like crazy. Sample roaster, big roaster. New burners, new air fans, new just like the whole kit. He's like the king of roaster mods. I just love how analytical he gets and how dialed in and how technical he is. And it was cool to just roll by and bug him for a little bit, but I had to let him get back to work, you know? Because I'm just like an annoying customer. I just want to know everything, want to see everything. But it's cool to see him. That We're about to go to the ultimate Christmas experience. Hot cocoa, add shot, Hi. Irish cream. Um, no, can I do a Bailey's with Irish cream? I mean, that's not right. This is Jeremy, he's one of the owners of Spearhead, and I just happened in here in Paso Robles. Is it Paso Robles or Paso Robles? It Paso de Robles. Paso, Paso de Robles. Ro Paso Robles. <laughs> like ceiling right there, uh -huh. but it was sagging because of the earthquakes and stuff, and so they bolted it into the original rafters. And so we like tore that out and painted the beams black and put in the insulation, put in the skylights. We, we tore the whole oh. thing apart, yeah. Even these were French doors that were in, like they had another wall, so we reused the French doors. I 
find coffee everywhere. This is awesome. <laughs> this is Max. This is Shelby, right? Yes. I got it right. So I slept on the coffee game hard today, so I decided to stop on the way home at Spearhead, which is in Paso Robles, and I'd never been there before, and it was rad. The whole crew there is super nice. Max, Shelby, Jeremy, they hooked it up, showed me around the roastery, made me espresso, and we're just super enthusiastic, and it just, got me thinking how important it is to connect with new people that are just really enthusiastic about coffee. It's so easy, no matter what industry you work in, to become really jaded if you've been doing it for a really long time and just kind of let that day-to-day -day grind get in the way of just the sheer excitement and enthusiasm around what you do and connecting for me with new people who are just pumped up just gets me that much more amped. So super rad experience and just Never stop connecting, never stop opening the doors and forgetting that you're part of a bigger industry. It's not just you and your shop or me and my shop. We're just all about coffee. There's a whole huge community out there and that's why I love you guys. You guys are crushing it. So with that, I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. It was a really awesome Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Lots of coffee, lots of friends, lots of fun. So keep it real out there and stay dialed, y'all. Peace.